is another day in 2024 paradise. I'm gonna sit right here. There you go. It is negative, negative six. Negative freaking six, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know how to comprehend. I'm gonna look up the wind chill real quick. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Apparently, according to my weather app, it is only negative five, not negative six, so I was wrong. And it says on there that it feels like negative 24. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm coming to you from the Arctic tundra that is Kansas City right now. And I know other areas of the country are going through this too. So I know it's not just Kansas City, but basically we're all in Antarctica right now is what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyways, today, or over the next couple of days, I think, we're going to be doing our annual New Year's vlog. Every single year, I do a New Year's vlog. We're getting a late start this year because we all had the plague around here in the first part of this month, or, you know, like over New Year's. Anyways, I'm going to make some coffee because I need it. I was going to make some earlier this morning when I woke up, but then I kept telling myself I was going to take a nap when Lucian napped, but that didn't happen. All right, what mug are we going for today? I'm either, either the, uh, let's go with this one. Spider mug it is. That was an easy decision. Let me just say that Nespresso machine is, we got that as a wedding gift 12 years ago, 12 and a half years ago, we got that Nespresso machine and it's still working like it's brand new. So I'm putting that out there. I don't know that I've ever talked about it formally. We've made a lot of coffee around here, but I can't remember if I've talked about it. Hold on. Let's pour our, our milk and foam in there. All my cabinet, like underneath sink cabinets, all of them are open right now because I don't want frozen pipes. And I guess that's what you gotta do. We've been dripping water at night and I'm hoping for the best. Hoping we don't get any frozen pipes, knock on wood or anything like that. Um, okay, anyways, what I was saying about the Nespresso machine though, I got way off track. I'll try to find the most similar one and link it, but it is an older model. I don't even think they make it anymore, but maybe they've just upgraded it or something or updated it or whatever. We're getting way off track. What are we talking about? What are we doing in this vlog? I don't even know. Honestly, we're just kind of winging it. I do a New Year's vlog every year, so I figure we just hang out for a little bit. I really don't. Like every year, I usually have a New Year's resolution and a plan and all this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get organized and I'm going to work out and do all this stuff. This year, y'all, this year is the year of no plans. None. We have no plans. Anyways, today though, I did have some things I kind of wanted to do. The one thing, if it's the last thing that we do, we are going to take the Christmas sheets off of my bed and remake my bed. But I want to get the Christmas stuff off my bed and get my bed back to the dark cave that is my bed. I need to get these sheets washed first and foremost, and then I got to make my bed. Um, and then I also, during this vlog, really like sometime during it. it could be any day but or over the course of several days I really want to get these Christmas decorations down and get my house cleaned Anyways, tomorrow I gotta venture out into the arctic tundra and get my nails done and then I thought if we feel like it maybe not because it might be too freaking cold but we might go to target tomorrow so anyways let's get these sheets in the wash start there then or ooh, maybe I should throw my comforter in the wash first. All right, we're back here with little baby Ninj. We're still in our holiday bed currently. I know you want to roll around in human stench, but ooh, we got to get it together. <laughs> it's the new year. <laughs> You're so cute. Say happy new year. Yeah. Anyways, means I'm sorry to break it to you, girl, but we gotta start making this bed. And by the way, you're gonna see my bed in this process. My mattress, my mattress topper, my pillows, and my duvet are all from Birch. And this video is actually sponsored by Birch, and we love our Birch mattress. We've had it now for a couple years, maybe a little longer than that. I don't know, but we've had it now 
for a minute. It doesn't feel like it. Like, I feel like we just got it yesterday. It still feels brand new. So I'm like, I, I keep thinking that we've had it for a shorter period of time, but we've had it now for a couple years. And we love our Birch mattress. And I've talked about Birch before because you know I can't stop jabbing my jaws about it. But if you haven't heard of Birch before, Birch makes mattresses that are crafted from organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. And their mattresses are free from polyurethane foams, which can cause harmful off-gassing and are also free from fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. And it was important for me to choose a birch mattress made from organic and natural material because unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses make it hypoallergenic. And if you know me, then you know I am Flemmy the Flamingo. I always call myself that because I am an allergy ghoul. So I love that the Birch mattresses are allergen and mildew resistant. And I ordered the Birch Luxe mattress, which is a premium upgrade to their original well-loved Birch natural mattress. Like I mentioned before, I've had my mattress now for a couple of years and we have been loving it and we sleep great. And I had no idea how horrible I was sleeping until I got this new Birch mattress because my other one was worn out, sinking in, but the years pass quickly and you don't realize that your mattress is getting all worn out. And that's what happened to us. And then we got our Birch mattress and Dallas and I were like, whoa. And the most important part for me is I'm going to sleep super quickly. Between the baby and the 18 year old Chihuahua, I am up throughout the night. So the one thing that stands out the most is the fact that I'm able to fall asleep quickly so I can get back to sleep and not have to be tossing and turning or have aches and pains the next day and all that kind of stuff. And the best part of all is Birch delivers your mattress straight to your door with free shipping within the U.S. They also offer an in-home setup and removal to make your buying experience as convenient as possible. And with the Birch mattress, you get a 100-night sleep trial plus a 25-year warranty. And it really is super convenient. Ours was delivered straight to our door. We just unboxed it unraveled it, watched it take shape, and then pulled it onto our bed. It was a super easy and convenient process. It was, I love my Birch mattress. And if you've been looking for a new mattress, definitely check out Birch Living. And their January flash sale is running right now. It's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off your Birch mattress, plus two free Eco Rest pillows. So you can visit birchliving.com slash jadelibra to find out more about this limited time offer. All right, Eans, are you ready, girl? I gotta go down and get the comforter. Hopefully it's dry. I don't wanna peel you out of bed until I know it's for sure dry. Here we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wow. We're missing one of these. I know, they're up in the tub. Oh. Loosen, your hair's really coming in, bud. Um. I see your hair. All right, we're back. I'm eating some peanut M&Ms, so hold on a minute. 639 and um, the whole day slipped away, pretty much. What else is new? We still haven't made the bed yet because my comforter took 3,000 years to freaking dry. So here we are. <laughs> I feel like if you know, you know. So now are we making the bed tonight or are we just gonna go to sleep and do it tomorrow? That is the question. <laughs> Lord. Well, right now, I just got Lucian down, finally. He's been fighting it hard. First of all, he didn't take his nap. So he was up from one until 6.30. So he was losing his mind. I finally like had him in his room and I was just rocking him in my arms and humming some random song. I don't even know what it was to him. And then finally, he fell asleep. So we are, what are we doing? We're making enchiladas. I have these enchiladas. Dallas's, I think, cousin made us. One of Dallas's family members. I always get confused because he's got like 3,000 cousins. And he's got, his mom's one of nine, I believe. Nine or ten. I think nine. So the age of Dallas's oldest cousins are like the same ages as his aunts. It's it's a whole, like my brain explodes thinking about it. But anyways, Dallas's cousin made these enchiladas and they are the best enchiladas I've ever had in my entire life. They're cheese and onion. They are so freaking good, like on another level good. So I'm gonna, I'm wetting a paper towel right now so I can put these enchiladas in a damp paper towel and then I'm gonna microwave them. And that way they stay nice and moist. I know that's a word a lot of people hate. I don't mind it. I think there are other words I don't like. Anyways, we're gonna make these cheese and onion enchiladas. We're gonna heat them up. 
And then I also have this cheese that she gave us. And this isn't mold in the cheese, by the way. It's like spices and deliciousness. I don't know what's in it, but it tastes really freaking good. All right, I've got my margarita salsa and some sour cream. Cannot wait to freaking dive into these. And then we're gonna decide if we're making the bed tonight. I think we're probably gonna make the bed tonight because I really wanna crawl into a nice clean bed. But also if I'm too tired, then I might not. Not quite ready. We need a peanut M&M. I might get some more M&Ms at Target. And then, what else? Oh wait, let's prepare this one. All right, here's what they look like. I'm gonna wrap them in this damp paper towel in the microwave. Right, I'm gonna do about a minute and a half. Uh-oh, these ones kind of flattened out. Whoops, this is what they look like, like actual pancakes now. Well, I was making them in the air fryer, but they were getting really, really crispy, like almost really dried out, even though I wrapped them in foil, didn't work out. So I tried it in the microwave and now we have pancakes, but this is gonna taste good. It's the taste that matters, you know what I mean? Okay, they turned out like pancakes. <laughs> It's either crispy or flat, I guess. I guess the cheese just kind of melted out of it. Are we making the bed tonight? I'm yeah. waiting till tomorrow. I mean, that's up to you. All right, Ange. Making your bed. All right, we're finally making this bed. <laughs> yeah, never focus on hers to begin with. Well, you gotta do this, watch. What you do is you do this. And then you tap on it, and there you go. That's how she... Ian's hasn't been sleeping in her bed. She's got this new thing now where she wants to lay on our bed, so I have to put potty pads down and blankets because she likes to tinkle. But she's not tinkling on her bed and making sure it's not happening, but she doesn't want to lay in her bed anymore. She just wants to... I think it's because it's cold out, and she wants to snuggle down where it's like where we're at. It is officially mid-January. We're just now getting our Christmas sheets off. So Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> oh man, I cannot wait to crawl in a nice, warm, clean bed. I'm gonna put on that, that warm comforter. Hmm? Is it okay to put on that furry comforter? It just slides down. No, it won't because I'll tie it. It's just not a good duvet cover. Well, that's because I haven't tied it in before. You tie it in there on the corners. I can't do it. Do what? I can do it, that part, if you want. Well, it's because I pushed the thing too far up. <sighs> oh, what are you? I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh. Sissy, I should put you to work. You're 18 now. You gotta make, learn how to make the bed. Maybe I'll just put on the comforter tomorrow. Like the duvet cover. I'm tired, are you? Mm-hmm. What do you think I was just a piece of shit? It's not. Why do you say that? It's just like the come, the duvet falls <laughs> in I know what you're saying, but that's, there's a reason why. Well, I mean, okay, do you see these ties on the corners? See this? Mm-hmm. It ties to the duvet. I'll do it tomorrow. It's hot. No, I like that because it's cold in here. I'll just put the green blanket over it tonight, and tomorrow I can put the black. All right, Ains. Is that better? This is why I do her bed last. What's she doing? Waiting patiently. Put her pipe back down. I don't really like using that one for that. What? <laughs> no, she. And then kind of like she's gonna get what she gets. But you kind of you kind of scrunch it up. Well, I know how to do this one. She likes it. Up. It's kind of like a hole. You gotta make it like a nest. Okay, well she'll make a nest. She'll make her a nest. I did a good job. She's got a good hole. All right, well that's just perfect. Our garage wouldn't even freaking open. Holy negative. Wait, let me see what the wind chill is right now, Mr. Skeleton. Negative five, 
feels like negative 18, y'all. Running late, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, great, I need it. All right, Mr. Skeleton, let's freaking go, sir. Hey everyone, it is another day in 2024 paradise with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Skeleton is in the car because we were out Halloween decor hunting the other day, which that will be a totally separate video. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna burp. Jeez, sorry, Mr. Skeleton. Didn't mean to offend you. Anyways, that Halloween decor hunting video will be up sooner than later. And then uh, we've got our Halloween tree coming up too. So I'm all excited. Anyways, today, well, right now we're headed to get my nails done. I'm gonna get my, I think I'm getting Halloween nails today. Uh, and then I think we're gonna go to Target. I have a couple things I need to get from Target, but we may go tomorrow with Dallas and Lucian. It just depends on if it's gonna start snowing or not because it's supposed to snow this afternoon. And we're only supposed to get about an inch or less than an inch. But being that it's so freaking cold, uh, I don't know what that means as far as the roads go, because it's definitely gonna stick. All right, anyways, we're pulling up to my nail place. So I'll see ya when I see ya. So. I love it. I like how it turned out. All right, hey everyone. It's me and good old Mr. Skeleton. We just got our nails done. They're so freaking cute and spooky for Halloween. I freaking love these. Anyways, it hasn't started snowing yet. It's looking cloudy, but not snowing. So we're going to try to go to Target. I think it's freaking freezing out. <sighs> it's cold. It's so cold that my camera is not reading. Like my battery is drained or it's saying that my battery is drained, even though it's at like 60%. So, uh, it needs to warm up a little bit, I think. So hopefully I didn't completely mess it up, but, um, here we are. We're going to go to target. I think, I don't know. I got to call Dallas and see how Lucian is doing. All right. So good news. Lucian's napping. So we're here at target and it's starting to snow. <laughs> starting to snow. So we're going in. <laughs> We're gonna make it quick. Here we go. I'm freezing, y'all. Some more M Ms. I have my hair pulled back because I was holding Lucian. It's still snowing. It's really bad. Look at that. Less than an inch. Like where? It's supposed to continue all the way through the night. Like look at my little light there. You see my light? Where? Where's my? Oh, right there. Right there. That looks like more than an inch already. We still have snow from the last couple of weeks. It's been bad. And so it's just adding to, why can't I get this hair tie out? Piling on top of the snow we already had from the last couple weeks. So it's bad out there. Um, but it was already bad enough. Like on my way home, I didn't vlog because when I left Target, there was already snow on the ground. It was accumulating and it was slick. Like when I was returning my cart to the cart thing, I was like gliding through with my boots, like sliding on the ground and it was really slick on my way home. So I didn't even film because I was like, eh, this is really bad. So anyways, we've kind of been home. We played with Lucian a little bit. I just got him down for a nap, which is a super late nap. I'm gonna have to wake him up in like 30 minutes because he cannot sleep till like five o'clock. That just can't happen because then our whole night will be thrown off. So I'm gonna have to wake him up at 4.30. That's besides the point. I wanted to bring up my Christmas boxes, the rest of my Christmas boxes. I don't know how much we're gonna get put away today. <laughs> If we're being honest, I feel like this afternoon flew by and now it's four o'clock. And before you know it, Lucian's going to need to be fed, bathed. He needs to get ready for bed and then get Neen's fed and ready for bed and then get us fed and ready for bed. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like once 430 hits, the rest of the night flies by. So I'm going to take the next 20 minutes and bring up Christmas boxes. That might be as far as we get today.
This one's called Go to Sleep, Little Creep. We've had a wild and wooly night. Now give Daddy one more bite. Da-da! Look at the bat, Lucian. Good morning, everyone. It is another day in 2024 paradise. I think I'm wearing my robe inside out. Hold on a minute. <laughs> it's one of those days. Walking down the stairs and I'm like, why can't I use my pockets? Well, well, that's why. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We just got off the phone with my mom. Lucian and I call my mom every morning and, or we FaceTime with her. So she sees, she can see Lucian and Lucian loves it. It started around Christmas time and my mom was sick. So we called her every morning so she could see Lucian because she wasn't able, she hasn't seen him since Christmas because she got sick, didn't see him for a couple weeks. She was getting better. Then Christmas happened, then we all got sick. Again, she got something else. She got the flu the second time. And then she got pneumonia, but it was really bad there for a second. And so she wasn't around Lucian, obviously. So anyways, around Christmas time, every time we would FaceTime, my mom would answer the phone and be like, Merry Christmas. And Lucian would smile so big. <laughs> so now it's not Christmas, obviously. Well, it still is here, I guess. But my mom still says it because he loves it every morning. He loves hearing Merry Christmas. So <laughs> my poor child is going to probably think it's Christmas every day. And now I'm making some coffee so I can edit this morning. And then we're going to freaking get these Christmas decorations down. If it, 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 it is the last thing we do. I don't know why I had that turkey moment. But like my little. <laughs> but I, seriously, I can't. But my, my mouth, it moves faster than my brain these days. And I'm pretty sure it's, it's due to sleep deprivation. But ghoul cannot talk half the time. Um, all right, what kind of mug are we going with today, everybody? Let's choose our spooky mug of the day. All right. I feel like this one just spoke to me. I opened it, saw it, and I need it. Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, wait, what about this one? I forgot about you. Look at him smile. Look at this guy. This is my favorite guy right here. Look at him. <laughs> one of those little teepees. Um, I feel like we're going with this one. Just kidding. I'm sorry, guy. I wanted to drink out of this one, but these Joanna Parker mugs are really cute. I kind of set them out on my little coffee area, but I feel like they're kind of hard, they're, but I feel like they're more for decoration. They're kind of hard to drink out of, but anyways, here we go. Put this away. Bye-bye. Oh, I was going to do a little bit of this, this French vanilla flavoring. Oh, come on, foam. You can do better than that. Get it together. Let's take our first sip of the day. Cheers, everybody. Here we go. It's going to be hot. Mm, but it's so good. Wait, do I need to stir this? No, it's fine. I want to talk about what we saw yesterday at Target. I totally forgot to mention the Valentine stuff we saw. And I want to talk about it, but BRB. I'm going to go see what's going on with Lucian. By the way, look at the snow. I don't think kids have had school for like a month. Hold on a second. Look at it out there. That on the, look at the little bunny prints. Aw. The little dusting. I think it's more than that. It looks like a dusting, but I think it's like, look at the little, if you see my little light right here. If you look at that light right there on top, that's how much snow we got yesterday. And we were supposed to get like a light dusting. And we got that. On top of the basically seven inches we got last week plus i think like maybe an inch or two on top of that we've got a ton of snow out there so anyways dallas is tending to lucian so i wanted to talk about wait i don't like when my messy bun okay so here's the key in my opinion to a messy bun this slicked back like this i feel like it makes me look like an alien so i like it to be more like george washington i like having a little bit of like looks like a founding father puff around the face. <laughs> Let's talk about what we saw at Target. Their Valentine section was really small. I feel like it's always really small. So maybe I'm just 
I, I don't know why I made it sound like it was a big deal. Because I don't feel like it is that big of a deal. Oh, I didn't check the dollar section. I bet they had some cute stuff. It's all right. I'll get over it. Anyways, in the regular Valentine section, and they had some little ceramic figurine things. So they had some little poodles, I want to say. And they kind of had a vintage feel to them. So they had these little poodles and a little bird, and little houses, just some ceramic little things. And then what else do they have? Uh, some little tabletop decor sign things that said different things like I like you. One had some hands in the shape of a heart and they also had a neon looking heart situation and some wreaths. They had like a wreath that had lots of, I think it had a lot of hearts on it or maybe it was in the shape of a heart. I don't remember. But then they also had this, this thing, this like dangle thing. I don't know what to call it like a piece that you just put on like a, like a wall decor piece. And it had hearts that kind of dangle down. And one said you, one said me, and then one said us. And it reminded me, if you remember, then you remember. But back in, was it the early 2000s or was it the late 90s? I don't remember, but MTV had this fake boy band that they did. It was like a fake boy band show, but it you could have been convinced that it was real because the songs were were definitely bops. They were major bops. I think it was called Together. Together. If you know, you know. And then they have this whole section of the song that was like, you, plus sign, me, equal sign, us. If you know, <laughs> you know it. And I don't even know. Like, I feel like seeing this wall decor piece like sparked the memory in my brain. Like I hadn't thought about that ever. I don't, I don't think I had thought about it since it existed, like since it happened. And then I see you, me, us on this and I'm like, you plus sign, me equal sign, like immediately in aisle at Target. I mean, I didn't really do that, but in my brain I was doing it. Anyways, okay. I gotta go up and edit this video and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> where's chucky all right hey everyone we're officially gonna try to get some of this christmas down uh i'm gonna start with these trees over here we're gonna see how far we can get i'm gonna try to do as much as i can during lucian's nap time uh which is probably not a lot i don't know that i'm gonna be able to finish all this during this video but uh let alone clean so i'll probably end up doing a cleaning video like a clean with me video where we'll clean the whole bottom floor. And the reason I like doing that, by the way, is because I feel like y'all hold me accountable. So when I say I'm gonna clean the whole bottom floor, I actually do it. <laughs> so thank you for being my New Year's accountability partners. And uh, we're gonna get some deep cleaning done. So but first, I gotta get this freaking Christmas down. Ugh, I'm never gonna get this done, I feel like. It's just like I start doing it and then either Neens needs something or Lucian needs something or uh, like my dad came over to get his hair cut or like there's always something to do. You know what I mean? So Dallas is pestering. Like he just said, <laughs> no, not really. But uh, Dallas is upstairs with Neens right now. If I have to, I'll put her in her sling, but I really don't like having her in her sling when I'm doing stuff like this because I don't want something to happen, her to get hurt or something like that, especially as I'm getting up on, like I'm not gonna go get up on a stool with her on, like in her sling or anything like that. So, uh, and I'm bending over and putting things in boxes, all that. So Dallas is up with her and Lucian's taking a nap. We're gonna try to do what we can, but chances are we're not gonna get it done in this video, but maybe soon. <laughs> So happy New Year's vlog, everybody. I said we didn't have plans and I mean that. So we're not too disappointed if we don't get things done. Okay, anyways, here we go. I'm gonna start with these trees. Oh, let's do this. All right, here we go. We got this big old bin situation. Some other trees in here. 
I like to take all my batteries out so they don't, they don't corrode and ruin my decorations, which is, dang it, happened on way too many occasions. Another box done. All right, I also gotta get this stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of it and put it on the island so I can just grab it, start putting it away in bins. Just get it all in one place, get this all cleared off. A little Target bag and collect these little sprigs and just put them in a small bag. And the bigger ones I'll put in a bigger bag. All right, I'm gonna collect more little sprays. Oh, shoot, I just almost just broke a lantern, perfect. Collecting little sprigs of garland. All right, everyone, we didn't get as far as I wanted to get. I still have this whole mantle to do and the whole top of the cabinets to do. This is a disaster, but but I was wanting to post this video sometime in this century, so. <laughs> but we did get the kitchen countertops, like anything that was Christmassy, like the nutcrackers, all those put away. And we got all these Christmas trees put away on this little buffet table thing. So at least we got something done, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this all, hopefully by the, the weekend. <laughs> But anyways, thank you for hanging out with me here in the new year. Yeah, anyways, hope you're having an amazing new year so far. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, let me know what you've accomplished so far in the new year. Maybe you've been ultra productive or maybe you've just been relaxing and hanging out and taking it all in. It is freaking cold out. It is the dead of winter. I, I feel like it's time to hibernate. So it's hard to get motivated. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.